Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be fixing all problems with GeForce Now. This is the only guide that you'll need, so make sure you watch this video till the end. Also, May update has been dropped and there is much more to talk about it, so if you are a cloud gamer, make sure to be subscribed to the channel, because I'm gonna be bringing more guys like this in future. Also, we have a Discord server where you can connect to me, so make sure you join it from the link in the description below. With that said, let's begin the video. As we all know, May has begun and GeForce now has dropped the May update, which includes signing issues with Fortnite players and they also face settings not being saved in the system. So yeah, everything has been sorted. Now moving on to our main topic, fixing all problems in GeForce now. I'll be moving one by one, covering all the topics. First up, we're going to be talking about the internal settings. You can go to your settings section and over there, make sure that you put the server location to auto and the streaming quality should be competitive. And then minimize your app. That concludes your internal settings. Previously, it was very complicated, but now it's really easy. Next up is search for GeForce Now and open the file location. Once you are here, all you have to do is find geforcenow.json. Right click on that and hit edit. If you don't see that, go to properties and make sure read only is unchecked. Hit ok, right click on that, hit open with and then use notepad. Once you are here, uh, over there you have to scroll all the way down and make sure that the SDL vsync is equal to false. Then the uh, IOHID configurable should be true and HIDPI should be true. Now many of you guys have been facing the black screen error, that is because of the GFN accelerator. Try putting it down to DX10, 11, 12 or 9 as you need. Next up I'm going to be talking about the DNS settings. For that all you have to do is go to your control panel and then to network and internet. Then go to network and sharing center. Over there click ethernet and then go to properties and then find uh, internet protocol version 4. Double click on that and use the preferred DNS server 8.8.8.8 and alternate DNS server 8.8.4.4. This is the Google DNS server which offers better connection to your PC. Next option for you guys is by network reset. Oh, for that what you have to do is in your search panel type in network reset and then go over here and reset now and hit yes. You have to restart your PC after this and it will be helping you guys a lot. For next thing you have to open up your uh, command prompt and type in ipconfig slash release then type in ipconfig slash renew then type in ipconfig slash flush dns then close it next thing i'm going to be talking about is net limiter i have previously introduced you guys with this application in my previous videos so if you haven't yet watched that you can watch it how to use it so first of all you have to open up your geforce now and then find geforce now reliable something like that double click on that and from priority to normal put it on high and hit save next thing i'm going to be talking about is called mem reduct you can download it from the link in the description below all you have to do is come over here, hit clean memory, give it up administrator permissions, hit clean memory once again, hit yes. As you guys can see, 1.96 GB has been released, so that's a big relief for me. Next thing is called TCP optimizer, also I'm going to be leaving a link to this in the description below as well. For that, what you have to do is run this application with administrative permissions. I'll be leaving a link of the file in the description below. You have to open this file, hit import and use this file. I'll be providing it in the description below. Hit open and hit apply changes. Hit OK and then close the app. Last but not the least, we're going to be talking about the timer resolution. Now a lot of you guys already know it. Once you are here, hit maximum and hit close. Now, these are all the things that can help you fix your GeForce Now connection and your uh, quality of your game. 
So guys, that will fix almost all your problems and improve your network connection too. If this video helps you out, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel as it helps me out a ton. See you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.